There is good news in what we're seeing, that what we have done and what we are doing is actually working and it's making a difference. We took dramatic actions in this state. We, New York pause program to close down schools, businesses, social distancing, and it's working. It is flattening the curve, and we see that again today. Uh, so far, meaning what? Meaning that curve is flattening because we are flattening the curve by what we are doing. If we stop what we are doing, you will see that curve change. That curve is purely a function of what we do day in and day out. But right now it's flattening. The number of patients hospitalized uh, is down. And again, we don't look at just day-to-day -day data. You look at the three-day trend, but that number is down. The three-day average trend is also down. Uh, anecdotally, the individual hospitals, the larger systems are reporting that some of them are actually releasing more people than are coming in, so they're net down. So we see the quote-unquote flattening of the curve. Uh, we have more capacity in the hospital system than ever before, so we've had more capacity in that system to absorb more people. The sharing of equipment, which has been uh, really one of the beautiful, cooperative, generous acts among different partners in the healthcare system has worked. Uh, if the hospitalization rate keeps decreasing the way it is now, then the system should stabilize over these next couple of weeks, uh, which will minimize the need for overflow on the system that we have built in at Javits and at the uh, USNS uh, Comfort. So that is all good news. There's a big caution sign that's if we continue doing what we're doing. If we continue doing what we're doing. We are flattening the curve because we are rigorous about social distancing, et cetera. So if we continue doing what we're doing, then we believe the curve will continue to flatten. Uh, but it's not a time to get complacent. It's not a time to do anything different than we, we have been doing. Remember what happened in Italy? when the entire health care system became overrun. So we have to remain diligent, we have to remain disciplined going forward. But there's no doubt that we are now bending the curve and there's no doubt that we can't stop doing what we're doing. That's the good news. The bad news isn't just bad, the bad news is uh, actually terrible. Highest single day death toll yet 779 people. Uh, when you look at the numbers on the death toll, it has been going steadily up, and it reached a new height um, yesterday. The number of deaths, as a matter of fact, the number of deaths will continue to rise as those hospitalized for a longer period of time pass away. The longer you are on a ventilator, the less likely you will come off the ventilator. Uh, Dr. Fauci spoke to me about this, and he, he was 100% uh, right. The, the quote-unquote lagging indicator between hospitalizations and deaths, the hospitalizations can start to drop, the deaths actually increase because the people who have been in the hospital for 11 days, 14 days, 17 days pass away. That's what we're seeing. Hospitalizations drop and uh, the death toll rises. I understand the science of it. I understand the facts and the logic of it. Uh, but it is still incredibly uh, difficult to uh, deal with. Every face, every number is a face, right? Uh, and that's been painfully obvious to me every day. But we have lost people, uh, many of them frontline workers, many of them healthcare workers, many of them uh, people who are doing the essential functions that 
we all needed for society to go on, and they were putting themselves at risk, and they knew they were. Uh, many of them vulnerable people who this, this vicious predator of a virus targeted from day one. This virus attacked the vulnerable and attacked the weak. And it's our job as a society to protect those vulnerable. And that's what this has always been about from day one. And it still is about. Be responsible, not just for yourself, but to protect the vulnerable. Be responsible because the life you risk may not be your own. Those people who work into an, walk into an emergency room every day and put themselves at peril, don't make their situation worse. Don't infect yourself or infect someone else so their situation becomes more dangerous. Just to put a perspective on this, 9-11, uh, which so many of us live through uh, in this state and in this nation, 2,753 lives lost. This crisis, we've lost 6,268 New Yorkers. I'm going to direct all flags to be flown at half-mast uh, in honor of those who we have lost to this virus.